Hi guys, welcome back to Quran Logics, where I take a very quick look at the logical thinking used and applied in the Islamic Quran. Now, if the author of the Quran is indeed a perfect God, the book should be perfect and not contain errors and for sure not be illogical. Today, I'm going to be talking about mighty Allah versus a tiny virus. Now, Allah is the most powerful and the best of all gods we have in the entire universe or outside the entire universe. We don't really know. Yet, when confronted with a tiny virus, all gods, including mighty Allah, go into hiding. The virus reprograms cells developed, designed and programmed, allegedly, by Allah. The virus can do that. It destroys the cells that make up human beings thereby destroying vital functions and killing millions of people. And Allah can't do anything. Allah creates all human beings and commands all followers to go and run around a black stone in the Arabian desert, at least once in their lives, if they are able. So at least those who don't die or are incapacitated otherwise by this tiny virus can then run around the black stone, right? Wrong. A virus, this tiny virus, stops exactly that. People can't do what they are created to do. The only purpose for a Muslim is to worship their creator, the one they call Allah. That's why humans and the jinn are created by the best of all creators, the almighty Allah, who then can't help them do what they are supposed to do. Allah commands Hajj and then stops people from going on Hajj. Poor followers. Well, thanks for taking an interest in the video. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't, give me a thumbs down. Do me a favor and tell me why. Thank you. See you next video. Ciao for now.